All right, Pony Nation, we have a bonus episode this week. Last Saturday, I did a demonstration about the weight of pigments and how paint interacts with each other when the pigments, for example, titanium white, which is a heavy pigment, is put on blue, which is a medium pigment, the white drops and the blue rises. I made this cup of paint four days ago during that demonstration. Now, I left it for four days, just covered it. This paint's still in a place where I can still pour it, but I did that on purpose because I wanted to see how, one, the paints would change over time just sitting in the cup, and two, I was interested to see how a pour would look if I left my paint for a long period of time. So as you can see here, all of my black has essentially dropped to the bottom. You can see the blue is dropping through the yellow and the yellow is coming up and my white also has dropped in. On the top here, you can see that the blue is coming up through the white and the white is kind of flowing down. We knew that would happen because the black pigment, Mars black, titanium white are heavier than the yellow and the blue that I used. So I'm really interested to see how this pour is going to go. I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm going to take my PVC pipe here, put it under my canvas, just to give it a tiny bit of lift. Uh, this way, this side is up off the ground a little bit. You can see my PVC pipe here. And it will have the paint flow this way and I'm just gonna go back and forth. I've seen uh, another artist do this and I'm interested to see how it looks. So let's, let's get into it. And my blue and red, sorry, my blue and yellow have essentially turned into green. And there comes my black up from the bottom. Pick this up and move my PVC pipe. So you notice my white has been tainted essentially by the other colors that I have in here. Oh man, that is beautiful. I'm gonna get rid of some of this black. I'm really liking how the Look at that. Wow, I was not expecting that. This turned out way better than I could have expected. Um, I believe that letting the paint sit for a while and kind of, um, one, let it mix together and also let the heavier paints flow through the lighter paints allowed me to get, let me see if I can get here, see how those layers, there's just layer upon layer upon layer um, and I think I helped that come out when I did the, the pouring from this side, just back and forth slowly on a very slight incline. But I think letting it sit for a couple of days before I actually poured made a huge difference for that effect also. And notice if I would have poured it yesterday or Saturday when I did this video, I would have gotten a bunch of yellow, a bunch of blue, and a bunch of green, but because I left it, the yellow intermixed with the white and the blue, and so I get these variations of green 
all through here, which are just amazing. Even underneath, the drips are really cool. Uh, I really liked how this black turned out with these drips. But man, I really like this. This is definitely a pouring technique that I'm going to have to try again. If you missed my video last week, I'm going to put it in the card at the end here about paint weights so you can see how I did this and replicate it if you'd like.